Kamel Nawash. He is the uh, president of the Free Muslims Coalition and the former legal director of the American Arab Anti-Discrimination Committee. Kamel, will there ever be a reformation in Islam? Uh, absolutely. I think you'd actually be surprised to know the issue of reformation is often discussed by a whole bunch of Muslims. But the question, but at the end of the day, the issue of reformation is really an internal Muslim discussion. It certainly needs to have. We certainly support it. A lot of Muslims support it. But I think what you're interested in, Glenn, is to understand why, why, why this, uh, the growth of extremism, why this radicalism that's rising. And I think this comes from something much simpler for, uh, than that. I, over the last 20 or 25 years, we have seen a rise of what I call political Islam, and that is that is a political ideology or a, that's mixed with religion that rejects secularism, rejects the secular state based on the belief that religion and politics must be mixed and that the state should enforce God's rules. The problem with that, with this type of ideology, is history has shown us, as you mentioned in Europe and so on, these types of government, where government takes it upon themselves to enforce God's rules, they never work. They are inherently compulsive, inher inherently unfair, inherently unjust, and if you are, even if you are a benevolent person, if you believe that what you're doing is somehow furthering the will of God, you tend to justify a lot of things, a lot of bad things. We, ha we have this, I mean, if you look back in history with the Christians, we have the same exact situation with uh, Constantine. That's I mean, that's why he cobbled everybody together. He was trying to build an army for political purposes. But let me ask you this, because this is where I think most Americans are. They see Islam, they, they know Muslims, and they say, you know what, I, you know, I know the Muslim, and he's a nice guy and everything else, but they're not sure because people won't stand up. In 2005, you held a march against terror, and let's be honest, not a lot of people showed up. Why? You're a Muslim, explain it. Well, it's, uh, it's, it's very easy because after 9-11, unfortunately, unfortunately, many of the Muslim organizations in this country, rather than recognize that we have a problem with extremism and trying to deal with it, since we are the only ones who can deal with it, instead they took the role of victimization and took the role of saying, of, the, of, of, of calling anyone who notices the obvious that we have a problem with extremism they accuse that person of being anti-Islam if they mention that. I think human beings in general would rather talk about how the world is against them as opposed to talk about, hey, we need to look inward, we have a problem. And a, a good example of this, if you remember a year or so ago, the, the, the controversy that erupted with Bill Cosby when he told some, in an African-American audience, he said, look, you know, we have an issue with Ottawa babies and all that kind of stuff. And many of the mainstream African-Americans attacked him. They would rather someone like Al Sutton, who says, hey, the man is against us, the world is against us, than saying, hey, we have a problem. I only have about 20 seconds, and it's so good to hear a Muslim voice like yours say these things. Uh, uh, but let me, let me boil it down to this. You don't have your name of your organization on the buildings that you're in. Uh, you're afraid yourself. For, uh, people have called you the, the Martin Luther, possibly, of Islam. But you're afraid as well, aren't you? Look, the only, the only person I'm afraid of is my ex-girlfriend. But <laughs> <laughs> look, obviously, when you, when, you do this, when you do this kind of stuff, I certainly don't want Ben Laden coming knocking sure. on my door. I'm a conservative Muslim. I do this because I love my religion, and I appreciate everything you said earlier, Glenn. I agree with you. I think we do have a problem right now, and only Muslims can solve this. And I call on other Muslims to stand up and be louder. And, and attacking me, uh, uh, I, I, it's so refreshing to hear your voice, and we will have you back. Thank you very much. Thank you.